What is going on guys? My name is Caddy and welcome to another edition of the Battle Hub League Season 2. Now before we go any further, I just want to apologise for not uploading anything of note for the past three weeks, but I'm just going to make the same excuse I've made every time I've done this, and that's I've been busy with work, I've been burnt out with poor come on, I've been generally tired and not really be asked to do anything, so yeah, that's basically it guys. So... But we have got a battle today guys, um, today's opponent is actually Sleepy, and um, yeah, you know, we know this opponent very very well, we are, we are having a UU battle, and we're looking at the teams right now, um, we see that um, Sleepy is bringing Primarina, Mamoswine, Zarud, Rotom Heat, Keldeo and Jirachi, and if you look at my team guys, we are bringing Aegis, Aegis Slash, Tentacruel, Uxie, uh, Diggersby, Ribombi and Cradilly. And as always guys, we are going to plug the Battle Hub Discord server, I'll link to that in the description below. And as always guys, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can you know, get a preview of um, what battles will be coming up when I post preview thumbnails on there. So yes guys, I've been incredibly busy with work, um, but for once, this week, I have actually got a week off. So we've got this battle today and later on in the week there will be another battle going up that's just against some random so it's just a random battle it's not a, a league battle but yeah my record in this battle hub league season two it's it's atrocious to be honest i don't think i've won a single match and i'm just generally playing well shit um so hopefully we can do better this round so anyway we'll say um good luck and have fun to sleepy eh? and uh let's get this battle underway um, it has been a while since I've actually battled as well, so I'm, I'm going to be really rusty. Um, so, what do I, I think I lead off with uh, Tentacruel, and he leads off with Jirachi, right, okay, that tells me a stealth rocker. So, we're going to be leading off with the Tentacruel, and you know what, I immediately want to knock off. Um, so we can find out what this Jirachi is going to be holding. Uh, from the way flight, okay, it's probably most likely he's going to have um, leftovers, but you know what, that's fine. So, we hit the knockoff. Uh, this tense crew is actually physically defensive, uh, but can't take an earthquake from uh, a Landorus. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit weird because, um, you know, tense crews are usually especially defensive, but you know what, we'll make a physically defensive one. Uh, I have actually got a specially defensive tense crew. Um, but you know what, I, I, I felt like trying the physical side of it. So we're going to switch out into a Age of Slash. Uh, this Age of Slash is actually it's predom predominantly a uh, special attacking one. But we do have Shadow Sneak as well for that priority. We are holding the spell tag just to make those ghost type moves a bit more powerful. We also pack King Shield and Flash Cannon and Shadow Ball. Um, oh, remember the, the day guys. Um, when AG Slash was actually banned to Ubers and now and they nerfed it a bit and now it's UU now. Uh, so we're gonna get Thunder Wave by Jirachi again. Um, and we get paralyzed! <laughs> oh, Parahax. It's already starting already. I, it's either in these battles I play shit or I get screwed by hacks. So he's gonna U turn on out, so that's fine. I'm gonna try and get a Shadow Ball off on somebody here. So I can't actually remember what comes in because this battle was done last night and I've slept since then and I can't remember. Um, um, so yeah, on the Battle Hub League, a couple of guys have dropped out due to personal issues, you know, you know, you can't, it's understandable but yeah we've got about four rounds to go, four or five rounds to go before the end and it is Getting quite interesting actually, so um, so if you've see, just seen there guys, I got power hacked again, so this H slash has practically done nothing, and it's really annoying me, so we're going to have to withdraw, because I can see overheat coming, and we're going to send out mmm, water, which is my credility, you know, special defensive mod, so and we're just going to eat up this, this overheat quite nicely. Oh, delicious. You know, Cridilly is such a good special defensive Pokemon. Now, this Cridilly, I would obviously run Stealth Rocks on it, but um, I decided to change it to Leech Seed 
I probably will change back to um, Stealth Rocks at some point. But we also pack Gastro Acid, Gear Drain and Leech Seed. And um, something else, Recover, that's it. So yeah, it's a decent set. It's an unusual set for Criddly, so we're going to get Toxic, which is not good. Not good at all, so that kind of tells me that this raw time is probably heavy duty boots. But we're going to hit the Gastro Acid. And if you don't know what Gastro Acid ga does, guys, it basically nullifies the um, opponent's ability. So, you know, you know that Levitate that Rotom had, it's no more now, so... So I know the Volt Switch is coming, because he'll want to get out of there to um, to get the uh, Levitate back again. So I'm going to send in Wallace, which is my Diggers B. If you don't get the nickname, guys, um, over here in the UK, there's actually... Um, TV program called Wallace and Gromit and um, they actually made a movie called Curse of the Were Rabbit where Wallace actually turns into a were rabbit. If you've not seen the movie, it's actually a movie guys, so you know you can look that up if you want. So um, I predict the fault switch, fantastic. This um Diggers B is choice banded and we pack huge power, which you know if you take the huge power out, this Diggers B's base attack is is shit. It's like 58, but we are banded and we have um, huge power, that's basically triple the power and that earthquake did quite a lot to this um, Zarud um, but I am going to switch because um, this Zarud will outspeed me and it's probably going to hit a cross combat on me so I'm not going to risk that so I, just, I misplayed this one, I should have bought in uh, Tentacruel and not um, Aegislash because oh fucking hell because I knew the Darkest Lyric was coming. I knew he would predict me. Plus, Age of is just a terrible switching for that. So, we lose on 50 now. So, I'm thinking, you know what? I'm going to just lower this, um, this attack. I'm not liking this. So, we're going to go for the King Shield, except we get paralyzed again. This fucking paralyzed. And at this point, I basically said to my Age of you know what? You can fuck off, you piece of shit. Get the hell out, hell out of my team. You've done nothing. So. Down door goes the Age of Slash, and we are going to bring in... Who the hell do we bring in? Tentacruel, yeah, yeah. Bring in the Tentacruel when I, mean, I should have bought it in right before. I mean, I can't really do anything to this um, as a rude, but, you know, I can... Resist the, um... Um... The close combat if it had it, but I, I got a feeling this the rude is choiced in some way. But I do bring it in because I want to get the rapid spin out. And I got a feeling this Zerud is actually choice scarfed. Most Zeruds are choice scarfed. Um, I just noticed that uh, Sleepy is actually using the, uh, the Zerud that's got the fashion statement, you know, that scarf. I mean, it doesn't make a blind bit of difference to its stats, it's just um, a nice um, cosmetic for um, Zerud. Um, that Darkest Larry did quite a bit, um, but I, I think that's still scarfed. So that's um, Rapid Spin done and dusted. So it's funny how my Age of get power hacks three times and does nothing, and my tentacle has not been power hacks yet. What the fuck, game? So, right, okay, we're going to hit the score. I'm, I'm trying to snag a burn here. And yeah. Because I got. I mean, I, I have got a Rebombi for this, but like I said, I still think this is really scarfed. I'm not going out speed. So out comes um, Jirachi. So we're going to hit that Scold. And get no burn. Because the game hates me. So anyway guys, um, I can now confirm that I, I have actually pre-ordered my Gen 4 remake. I'm actually going to get um, a free figurine with it. I've, I, I mean, I've actually bought both copies, but I'm going to give one of them to my brother because that's the way we do it. Um, I'm actually going to be playing um, Brilliant Diamond. Yeah, Brilliant Diamond, the one with Dialga, because I've already got Shiny Palk here, so I, I want I want a Dialga. So. So I'll be getting a small Dialga figurine, and whilst my brother will get um, a small Palkia figurine and some stickers. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, and um, 
can't wait for um, the remix to be honest, you know, I'm sick of Dynamax, I'm sick of this 20 minute timer, I'm s you know what, yeah. so I can't remember what move I went for here because I missed it, I think I went for Rapid Spin again because he got, he got the rocks up again, he's U-turned on out, so I know he's not got a Ghost type, so I am free to go for Rapid Spin. I either went for rapid, rapid Spin or Scald. And, um, oh yeah, I don't know, I know what comes in. Uh, it brings in the Keldeo, because he thinks I'm going to go for the knockoff. Just, you know, just to get that justified boost. And I'm like, no bro. No, Rapid Spin. Them, these rocks have to go. So... So at the moment guys, we have got currently 83 members for um, the Battle Hub Discord server. And I'll tell you guys, if we get to 100 um, members, I will do something special uh, for that Discord server. And, you know, I'll collaborate with with some fellow PokerTubers or whatnot. And uh, we, you know, we, we'll see what we can come up with. Um, or I might do a very special video just to commemorate. 100 uh, members. Cause it, really, 83 members is actually insane. So in comes the Criddly to take this air slash. Like that did a lot. Oh no, it's a crit. So it could easily go for the um, fighting move. Can't go for one move because Storm Drain. Um, but I got a feeling this Keldeo is is again choiced. Like choice specs, I think. And um, ooh, so he, he does withdraw the Caldeo, which obviously tells me he is um, Specs or Scarf or whatever. Um, so we're going to go for the recover, a nice easy recover on the Credilly. For once, I've actually got this Credilly doing some work. And um, so I don't know what this Rotom wants to do. Maybe go for a nice overheat, maybe? I'm going to go for Gastro Acid because I want to get rid of that Levitate again. Because, you know, because um, even if he goes over Overheat, uh, I'm pretty sure Credulity can take one. And he does, he predicting the switch, man, into Mamoswine. So I'll just, you know, another fire of that, um, either Thick Fat or Oblivious. And why, why did you double switch? What were you predicting? Were you predicting the Tentacruel? You probably were predicting that tentacruel. But anyway, I can't stop in it stop in here because um this Mamos wine is might be a bit, of, a bit of an issue to be honest. So we're gonna send out Ooxie for the very first time. This Ooxie is the classic lead off book. We've got Stealth Rocks, we've got U-turn, we've got Yawn, and we've got Side Shock, and we are holding the Cobra Berry because knockoff. Um So when it comes to freeze dry. Uh, which is too bad, I did not expect freeze dry because um, Mammal Swine are usually physical. Um, but I see it's got life orb, so it's probably a fully attacking one. This, so you can't have Stealth Rocks because he's already got rocks on uh, Jirachi. So. so I think I went for the Yawn. Yeah, he, swi he switches into Rotarm. So, okay, we're going to go for the Yawn. You know, hopefully make him switch out again. And um, you know what? Let's get the hell out of here. We're gonna hit the U-turn. You know, it's easy to go for rocks, but and kind of need a bit of uh, momentum here. I'm hoping he goes first. Please go first. I think you're faster than me anyway. Invite him to me max speed yet. No, you, you just outright withdraw, that's fine. So uh, into the Keldeo, that's you know, I could have easily gone for a side shock, but I didn't. So I'm gonna hit U turn on out. And yeah, we we'll, we'll get this Ribombi in. So this is Ribombi, uh, Ribombi usually has sticky webs, but this is um, the Quiver Dance set. So we've got Quiver Dance. 
uh, Moon Blast, Bug Bros and Psychic. It is actually a timid nature with heavy duty boots, uh, but because I got this from Sun and Moon, I think it is. Somebody traded no. I think someone traded it me or, or trimmed me a cutie fine. I trained it up. It is actually not max IVs in special attack because its IVs are so that um, it had a certain hidden power back in the day. I think it had hidden power ground, this um, rebound base, up, but obviously hidden power doesn't exist in Sword and Shield, so I've had to replace that with Psychic. So in comes the Pre Marina, and I, in my head I thought this was specs all the way. So. Is it at this point and um, we go for Quiver Dance? And we're going to see how much this um, incoming Moonblast is going to take. So, okay, that's just under half. So, you know, I can get another Quiver, quiver Dance, so I'll take the risk. Um, the only way he can beat me, beat my Rebombe, is if he gets a crit. And knowing my look on my hacks lately, it's probably going to happen. So that's the plus two in the special department and speed. He do, goes, does go for another moon blast, and the fact that, that he'd been going for his moon blast made me thought he was choice specs. So I'm thinking, oh, let's go for our own moon blast and see how much this does. This is plus two, and this is when I realised that he's not choice specs. That's assault vest because that did absolutely nothing. And oh. Fuck me. And uh, and after talking to Sleepy afterwards, he did confirm that was a salt vest because that's plus two. I, I know I'm not max IVs in special attack, but come on, plus two, and that did sod all. So uh, in comes Mega Mine. Um, and it's not looking good, guys. Not looking good at all. So I'm thinking, right, I'm just going to go for rocks. Ah, oh, it's so annoying facing um, Sleepy. I mean, there are good battles. I mean, this 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 is this, is, this battle is no exception, but oh, it's just so irritating. You know, I've been, you know, ever since I've come back from holiday a couple months ago, I have just been on a downward spiral in battles. I just cannot get a victory. And uh, so, in comes this Rotom, and and I can already tell it's heavy duty boots because it took no damage from the Stealth Rocks, so we know it's heavy duty boots. So we're going to hit the Yawn again, and he defogs it all the way. Okay, that's, you know, that's fine, because you're going to go to sleep next turn, or you're going to switch. So we're going to U-turn on out. Okay, we've draws the raw Tom, so into the road. That's a pretty risky play, man. I mean, I don't think this U-turn is going to take you out, even though it's four times effective, and it doesn't. And we're going to bring in the Diggers B, and I have quick attack on my Diggers B, but for some strange reason, I thought he was going to preserve this as a rude. And I went for body slam. I really should have quick attacked. I mean, to be honest, it wouldn't really matter because I don't think Quick Attack would, you know, do a lot to anybody else, to be honest. So, oh, this is a massive misplay. I mean, if you guys want to do the calcs on the Quick Attack for the rest of the Super's team, be my guess. And if it turns out that I could have won, well, I'll hold my hand up. But I don't, Quick Attack's not strong enough. Even for Banded, Stab, Huge Power Boosted, Diggers B. But, that is a massive, massive misplay. I should have gone for quick attack 100% of the time and I was really really angry with myself about that. Always go for the safe play guys. Do not try and predict. So anyway, basically guys this is um, a loss because I mean this tentacruel can um, soak up close combat it's like nobody's business but we're going to go for the scold and it's not even going to take it. Oh no, it does take it out. I must be thinking about a different match. So, the Zerud's gone, thank god. So, 
think comes the uh, mammal swine and yeah I've got nothing absolutely nothing and basically guys I think um, Sleepy is going to finish up uh, clear, cleaning up with this mammal swine so he can get the extra point oh, I wish I never put that extra point in now you know I'm going to scrap that road next time no, screw, no more extra points for, for sweeps. I thought it was a good idea at the time, but it's just not a good idea. As I, I think I've given away three extra points in three in my last three battles. It's just not good. So in comes the Asco Crash, it's obviously a mixed attacking Mammal Swine. And well we live on five, but it doesn't really matter because he's probably gonna have the eye shard. Spoilers, he does. You'd be an idiot not to have ice ice shard on Mammal Swine. And yeah, I think I'm going to cut this commentary short guys. Sleepy does finish off with this Mammal Swine mini sweep. So, all I can say guys is, you know what, I'm back. I've got, got, got another video coming up in a couple of days time. Might be Friday that, that probably will be. Um, and um, as always, if you like what you see guys, comment, rate and subscribe. Remember to join the Battle Hub Discord server in if you if you want to join the link is in the description below and as always guys have a great day and um i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye